Okay, so here we go, starting a new week at Chateau de Montmagny, and this week it's all about preparing the land for the wedding, or preparing the uh, pergola area anyway. So uh, let's give you a bit of a preview of what's going to go on this week. So we have a little digger that's arrived that we're hoping is going to help us. You're not saying that's pasture. I am. You've got a little digger. <laughs> Ted's uh, getting the tractor sorted, but we have a special guest this week, Carsten. All the way from Denmark. All the way from Denmark. <laughs> yeah. Say hello. Don't know, Don't know why, but I'm here. <laughs> so Carsten arrived yesterday. Had to fly from Denmark to Stansted and then Stansted to here. Long journey. Did you have a good night's sleep? Perfect. Are you glad to be here? Um, I love it. <laughs> There's a few ghosts in the chateau, but <laughs> I'll manage. <laughs> so, Colson's uh, up nice and early and uh, already started. So this area is where we are hoping to have a eating area, an outside eating area, summer kitchen. And their original plans was to cover this whole area here which is how many square meters baby 67 was it 72 square 72 meters. square meters however yeah. we've had other plans um we're going to do a summer kitchen at the back which is going to be a covered area then we was going to do second option was going to do a decking area and then have some um retractable pergolas on it however that's changed once again because whilst having a little recce yesterday I don't know if you can see where Colston is having a little dig there what have you found Colston? There's stone underneath nice left flat stone all over the place so it looks like we could have a nice stone patio area might already have. installed might have it would save us an awful lot of money an awful lot of time and effort yeah a uh, lot of money if we don't have to deck it all to bring in some more guests. Yeah, bring in some more guests. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what we want, the more people. So the idea this morning is, baby, what's happening? So first of all, um, we're gonna move all this. We're gonna get the dig, this is why we've got the digger. So, because this is all fairly compacted because this is two years worth of us cutting grass and all that sort of thing. It's just compacted down. So we're gonna move that with the digger. So otherwise, you know, like everybody knows how much I love digging. <laughs> so we get somebody else to do it. <laughs> Bobcat over there. Um, we're gonna take trailer all this down the end of the land. That's, you know, we're not gonna try and salvage anything. It's just gonna get dumped down the land. So that's the idea is to move all that. See where we are when we get to the flat. Um, and then scrape, you know, we've got the big wide bucket, which has got a flat edge on it. So I'm going to try and scrape that with some of these, pull these roots out with the, either the bulk out of the tractor. There again, the way uh, Colson's going now, I think by the time I get to it with the digger, I think you might have done it all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. So it's not as good, what, what he's doing there is trying to find the edges. Because um, we think we've found an edge down here, so where the stone's going there, and then this will still be the grass area. We have got the drainage ditch. It comes from that barn all the way down here, which I would like to uncover because I think it's sensible to have it open. Plus the fact I think it will look really nice. You know, Lisa's moaning, Lisa's already moaning because she's thinking I've got more, more trimming to do. <laughs> but, you know, it may well be that um, we can leave that, you know, it's not essential. That's the, that's the plan for the, for the morning part. So I think we'll put the camera up, do a bit of time lapse and come back at lunchtime and see how we got on. See how we get on.
like in the moment. So if you release that air button, you push that down and release it back there a little bit. And when we get over there, I'll show you Come on, Alan. Archaeology, in a sense. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Just got some big tree trunks to get rid of. Yep. I think it looks stunning. You're not going to bother smoking it, are they? <laughs> 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 What do you think? Fantastic, doesn't it? Absolutely. Once it's brilliant. sort of dug out and mortared. Well, I just don't think that it's. I don't. It's stupid to come around. Stupid. I scratched a bit of it there. Did you see that? Yeah. You just scratched a little bit. You know, it might take the face of stone a bit, but just drill holes in these poor diesel down. Yep. That's what they tell you. They kill them out. Hmm. But we, you know, it would be nice. The only thing is pulling them out. It's going to take all that stone here, maybe. Well, if we can dig around and find oh, Charles, stones I, that I are next to it, Steve, take them out. If, if we can get some chain, I was thinking about going to get another spade or another shovel because we weren't even going to. I've put two in there. Spade, his spade in there. There's a oh, spade right. And a nice shovel, but then, you know. Well, you know, this is not old. <laughs> Quite antique, yeah, it's like, it's <laughs> falling apart. That, all the bristles have gone because the dogs, yeah, fight it. What are all these holes? Yeah, all these, <laughs> these holes there. Oh, all right. these here. They, they pull them out. <laughs> we did buy a better one. We have got a better. So by the end of day one, Colston had got a real feel of what it was like volunteering at Chateau de Montmagne. But look what we got done. We cleared the entire patio space. So first day is over. First day of Colson's visit. How are you feeling? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Are you pleased with what we got done? We achieved something, yes. Oh, well, I think it's brilliant. I didn't expect to get all that done in one day. I thought it would take us a couple of days. Yeah, I know. I know. But, um, we are you very hard work. working. It's good. It feels good, doesn't it? Onwards and upwards. Yep. To be honest with you, what you said to me. What? You said, I'm glad I'm not doing that this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All week. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, like gardening is rubbish. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, but I don't call that gardening. That's like unearthing, we like. Do, we call it do gardening. Do you? Yeah. See, we're on the same way. Sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's day two of um, Colston's visit, the visit, and uh, we've got another volunteer this week, the good old Stevie. Morning, everybody. So Steve's been roped in to help Ted sort the waterworks out, <laughs> sort his waterworks out. Ted's got problems with his waterworks. <laughs> so in here, above here, we've got some mains water that comes in from outside and feeds the whole of the chateau. I think what they're going to do is cut that, are you, Steve? Yeah. And put a tap in here so we've got some water other than having to go into the tea room. 
and take a feed off of it so that we can use the is it that one yeah this is the mains water in and it's way too long so we'll cut it off shorten it put a t in it the water to come this way and for this to be reinstated to go back that way cool that'll make such a difference having some external water right so that's what they're doing and that way it means that we can then use the pressure washer yeah. Yeah. just minute here So myself and Carlson have been already this morning, nice and early, over to the dishettery, got rid of a load of rubble um, with the trailer. And I have to admit, um, Colston is pretty dab hand at reversing this trailer. Won't have to buy me anymore. <laughs> I'm not saying anything, baby. <laughs> so, whilst Ted and Steve are busy with the waterworks. Myself and Carsten are going to just clean up all the mud from over here. And the jobs we need to do today, let me take you over, are to just get rid of all the mud here and then try and attach a chain to these very large tree roots here and pull them out with the bobcat there um, once they're out hopefully then the water will be on and we can use the pressure washer to pressure washer all this area see how the stones come up see if we can get all of the mud out between the stones that way we can then mortar it and I think today they're going to go to the wood yard and pick up some of the wood for the summer kitchen. So the summer kitchen is going to go all the way along here, seven metres long. We're going to have a cabinet here that will house anything that needs to be put away. And the kitchen will go all the way along. We will have a refrigerator underneath so that we can put the drinks in there. Um, and any obviously food that needs to be refrigerated. But I've also got some chafing dishes to use for cold and hot food. Um, so we can have everything out here. We will have a, um, a griddle, large griddle plate for cooking on. And we will have a mini oven here as well um, for when the restaurant opens. So yesterday, very exciting. Helen came over. Helen is Lee's wife. Lee is an electrician. Yep. So um, Helen came over, she used to work in a restaurant close to here that's shut down. She's going to come and uh, work with me for the summer um, and hopefully onwards and upwards as long as the restaurant is a success. Um, so for the summer the, the, the restaurant will be out here. During that time we will try to empty one of the barns and do one of the barns as the venue. The original plan was the, the large barn that we used to live in, in the tent, but we may have decided to move Ted's workshop into that one and move the um, restaurant over to, to Ted's workshop barn and do that out as an indoor restaurant for the winter. But that's further down the line. For now, we're concentrating on the summer kitchen. Get this done. We're going to get two large pergolas that are retractable um, because the idea was that the whole pergola be a static feature with a roof all the way across the top. However, we have to jump through, through hoops to be able to do that. So the solution at the moment is, whilst we're jumping through, through hoops for next year, is to do it so that it is a, um, what's the word? Dismantable. It is dismantable, because then you don't have to have all the uh, building permission. So we can get it open for this year. And we're gonna open the restaurant Thursday through to Monday lunches thursday friday saturday sunday monday evenings on friday and saturday fingers crossed it works well and um yeah pays the bills that's what we'd like anyway so the summer kitchen all the way along here seating out here can't wait so let's see how we get on today So while we're waiting for the boys to get the water done, 
in the dump barn we have so much copper so Colston today with my help is sorting all the copper out we're going to cut it up and then hopefully be able to take it down to Limoges and get some money for it to pay for some of this work we're doing so anyway I better stop talking to you and help Colston uh, where can I put this You all right? Yep. Smile on candy cam. So Steve has decided to use our barn as a storage area for all his tools and the seats. Yeah, but for what reason is that? So that you can use his van to go and get your wood. Fair exchange. Fair exchange. So you finished but your it's job? Not that. I think he just he just wanted a nice clean van. Yeah. So you finished your first job? It's all done, yeah. At least all the water's on. So we've got water. Also, we've got water in the barn now. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that will just make a huge difference having it water outside, won't it? It's not. It's not great, and it's a little. There's a little bit of, because this isn't great, but it will do the job for now and then we'll find something better to do this. But yeah, it will make a huge difference in the fact that we'll have a washing machine again. Brilliant. So we can run the cable in from up the barn, put the washing machine here, and that makes a huge difference to us. So now that the water's on, it means that Colston can get on with his second job of cleaning up the stone. You want me to try and get as much dirt out from the grooves? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Because that will make it easier for us to then get the um, the weeds out. I think it's going to look amazing. So it was now time for Ted and Steve to try and get these tree trunks out. And that meant removing the stone around them. And they are huge and heavy. One down, three more to go. Another one to go there, and another one to go over here, but it's just an Italy. Okay, so these are the stones that come out that little hole. The size of them is enormous. All out of that one hole.
So you think, when you look at them, you think they're just a thin stone that's been popped down, but when you see the size of that, that's how deep they go. That's why it can take two and a half times of that. When, when did these go down? Last week. <laughs> Look how the stone's coming up, beautiful. So it's day three of Carlston's visit. And we had, um, last night we had some neighbours over, we had their other guests arrive, we had a lovely barbecue and sat outside till midnight last night around the fire pit. And it was really good and it looks a bit of a mess. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the size of some of these stones. Wow huge okay so these were all the posts are gonna go yeah. we've roughly measured very roughly measured um so we can get you know because we have to take out so much stone so we can effectively dig a hole and pour concrete back and then put all the stone back to put in these brackets these brackets that will go into the concrete and then the post will go in there. However, this, um, as our dear friend found out, is not going anywhere. This bit of concrete is not going anywhere. The SDS wouldn't hardly touch it. Um, so you need a proper road breaker to probably break it up and then you'd probably smash up all the stone underneath. So we've dug some holes in here. So we can do that. Oh, right, and cool. then we've got to go and get some it's like like an epoxy resin isn't it yeah it's like an epoxy resin you squirt in the hole you put that in there and then they're rock hard they ain't going anywhere okay cool so we've done that for the first three and then we'll concrete these in because it's a lot cheaper and then the post will come off of there and this will be it so it'll be six meters by two meters because um, then what we didn't want to do is have them right against the edge because things ain't straight and then you, you have to be fiddling about so that's why we're taking it a little bit off and then yeah this area we're gonna we've got to figure out what we're gonna do here because the deck if we take the deck off the same height as we want say from there this is gonna the deck on this end will be massively up in the air and that's not so we're gonna have to figure out something to do here because of this bit of bloody concrete but okay. That's where we are at the moment. Um, cool. I think we're going to now, you know, probably um, just dig out the holes. I don't know, I'm deferring to my colleague here. Because um, <laughs> he's been very good, he, you know, he's been very useful to have, have him here because I really had no idea how this is going to work. Have um, you done this before, Colston? Oh, you mean removing medieval... Uh... Medieval <laughs> stones, no. no. Every day. <laughs> so with all the holes measured out, it was now time to cement the brackets in place and put the stone back in. Because we dug a hole there, we know there's concrete all the way down there. Here there's stone. Oh right. So you know, there's going to be solid concrete okay. down there. And this is the exact uh, place where it goes. Okay. We're good to start constructing. Yes, yes. And this won't be invisible, that's why we can mess about. Yeah, and do whatever. Yeah. Yesterday, yeah, we'll have to learn that. <laughs> How's it go? How's it go? Yeah. I don't know. I was waiting in 
Yeah, it's all about the feet, all about the feet. <laughs> so by lunchtime, all of the brackets were in and the stone had been replaced. Colston was just tidying up the last area. don't understand is we only have we have one hole over there left to complete where can you see it on my camera but the rest of the holes have all been refilled and Steve took all these stones out and placed them where they should go back but we have a huge pile of stones here and we have another load over there and they're big old stones but we kind of don't understand where they came from so somebody's either been putting them here when we ever know it you know they've come and or they breed oh yeah they say <laughs> the stone Multiplied. lives they say the stone lives yeah but we don't think it was going to be breeding overnight so the area's looking good looking really good let's get the jet wash out So while I got on with jet washing the patio area, Ted, Steve and Carsten had another job over on the land for the wedding area. So we're off to build a bridge. We've got a load of wood that we had when the wall fell down out of the uh, laundry area and we cut it down to three and a half metres. It's not going to be very wide but it's going to be functional and it doesn't cost nothing. Well, a few screws. And, uh, how, how are you finding um, working with Colston? He's, he's a good lad. He's, he's, he's strong as an ox. He just works and works and works. He don't, you know, he don't stop. Have you enjoyed he's, having him here? He's a good lad. Oh yeah, I've massively enjoyed him having, having him here. I couldn't have done, there's a couple of things that we've done yesterday and today. I don't think I could have had him with that. You know, I, I couldn't have done it as quick as we did it. He's I think it's lad. amazing the amount of jobs we've got done this week. Yeah, he's, it's really good. You know, we started clearing the laundry room. We've got all the acros out, um, or most of them. Um, we're going to clear the piggeries if we can get this done. This will be a nice little number. Uh, we're going to move some stone in, push it, uh, push it around. Um, just trying to make it look respectable, really, at the moment. I might come down and um... yeah, come down and see us. I'm going to take a few pictures. Okay. Here. Just go, just go into it by like six inches or something. I think it's slightly drier this side, but... Drier. Bessie's don't drink that. Stagnant water. Now you may remember the video when we had our last volunteer Charlene over and myself and her were preparing the wedding area. The boggy patch needs a bridge. Otherwise, people are going to get wet feet. You know when I said go in six inches at a time, you went straight through. Oh no, I said just come through gently six inches at a time.
As you can see, Bessie decided she didn't want you to see this part of the footage. Here comes Bessie. Hit a piece. Oh, I can see they've got a trailer full of stones. How's it going? Got bridge. Is it good? Considering all we had is four bits of wood, <laughs> and then um, now we've got a bridge. Cool. That's the nuts, isn't it? That's the nuts. No wet feet for the wedding. That's the thing, isn't it? You know, like free. You know. Yeah, we had to originally buy them, but that was ages ago. Bessie's still jumping over the thing because she can. <laughs> Oi, leave it. Yeah, but so uh, just infill a bit of stone in the sides just to give it a little bit of character, maybe, and then eventually I want to dig all the way down there so the water flows all the way around there, but down here and all the way down. But for the for the purposes of the wedding yeah people with delicate sensibilities getting over to the area i think it's brilliant cool it's the nuts and then we're just going to put these lumps great lumps in there we these all came out of where they put the septic tank in yeah it's a and lovely big bits isn't there yeah I love beautiful these. this this thing here yeah a great big shark bit um you know so we just 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 lump them in there no you know, it don't matter where they are, and then now and again, come down here with a trailer and just lump a load of a bit more in there. So it's just it's like a not like a riverbed, but you know, just so it will flow because it won't, it will seal up eventually, but it will flow through there. Yeah. Hopefully for a while. Cool. And then when it gets to this, you know situation, we'll do something about it. But it'll be fine for that. So with the bridge made, that was their last job of the day. It was now time for a well-earned beer for the boys. Now with the extra pair of hands this week, it means that we have got so much done. So you're just going to have to wait till next week to see part two of the summer kitchen build and the rest of Colston's visit. We would like to say a big thank you to you as subscribers and all of our patrons for sticking with us over the last couple of years. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to continue to do this project and to finish Chateau de Montmagne. So thank you, take care, and we'll see you all again next week. Goodbye. I'm a
Someone to share my dreams Someone to find